big fragile box. I got all kinds of stuff going on here. Don't mind me. Anyways, I have some stuff. I've gone over to the place where my antique booth was. They are considered like an indoor flea market. I've gone over there um, a couple of times because they're officially open and I've gone over there mask on face and was looking around for some good deals. So I have some stuff to show you. But before I show you that, um, I did get some stuff. I got a couple of things in the mail that were friend mail. Um, but when I get things in like this is something that I bought from a reseller. I have a stack over here that I've got from a reseller. So I'll probably do a video showing the items that I've purchased from other resellers, supporting them. Um, but I let them sit out here just like I did with my Goodwill stuff and here comes the loud truck. Um, you know, to let them sit for a while. I know, Gabriel's over there playing. Um, so I did want to share this with you guys. I got a really cute uh, Mother's Day card in the mail from a subscriber friend and she actually has a YouTube channel. Her name is Corey, but her YouTube channel, and I believe her Instagram, is The Thrifted Paper Artist. So she sent me a nice Mother's Day card and a nice note on the inside. So I just wanted to say thank you, Corey, for thinking of me. It's really cute. That's what Gumpy looks like. My cat Gump. Mine is that interesting smile that he's got going on. He looks like he's up to no good. So thank you so much, Corey. And then the next thing I have, um, it's from Katie, who is here in Florida. And without, she sent it like this. Do not bend things. Now a guy was riding down the street with a lawnmower. Um, so I opened it up for the purpose of opening it for this video, but I haven't really peeked at what's inside. All right, so we got this paper envelope here. What do we have going on? All right. Oh my goodness, lots of little goodies. All right, so this looks like a piece of chipboard. Maybe she was using it. This is what you could use. Um, this is chipboard for those of you that don't know, like the cereal boxes and stuff. This is actually what I use to make my putts houses around Christmas time. If you follow me on Instagram, I posted those that I made. Um, I just saved some of our boxes and I used a template, cut it out, made boxes and it works. So that stuff's great. All right, so there's a little card that says to Alex. Hungry? All right cute little guitars oh wait okay ah uh. Okay. All right. So, um, Miss Katie, she's actually vintage and vinyls on YouTube and she's that on Instagram, I believe, cause I follow her as well. Sometimes the Instagram and the YouTube name varies just a tad, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is on YouTube as well. She bought, um, I found like a, here comes another loud car, um, a magnifying glass, you know, like a vintage magnifying glass and she turned it into a freaking lamp with like an Edison light bulb and she sent me pictures of it. She emailed me pictures. It was really awesome. So yeah, you can have, it's gonna melt so you gotta eat it quick. It's got a popsicle out here in this heat. Oh no, I'm okay. Can't really eat it on camera. I'll get it all over my face. Um, it melts quick. Oh yeah. Oh no, it already fell off. Throw that in the garbage. You can eat the rest and then get another one if you like. So yeah, Miss Katie has a YouTube channel and um, it's vintage and vinyls. So she has little goodies wrapped in here for me. What do we have? What do we have here? I 
can't spoil a surprise. Oh, that's cool. That's so cool. Look at this. It's an old um, Scotch gift wrap tape. It's an old little container of tape for like presents. You know how now they, they're on that plastic thing and you pull the tape off, but it's on this like old card and it's like a tin. Cool. Well, now I'll show you guys. <laughs> how cool is that? And it was 10 cents. That's really neat. Thank you, Katie. How old is that? Huh? How old is that? This is probably 19... 50s, 60s. He thought 1985 or something like that. That's that's. Uh, for old staples. I was telling you guys I have um, little packages of office supplies little old vintage packaging they're really cute and it's so tiny this could have been um well it can still be for fourth of july on display like for red white and blue thank you all right and then i have this little envelope here oh we have some cute little tags i can always use those for like package toppers and stuff. And then we have another little wrapped up goodie here. Oh, cute. She's got these little brass skeleton type keys. Those are really cute. Can I think of another adjective other than cute? <laughs> but it's also cute. Everything cute. And then she's got, oh, these are neat. These little sheets of paper it says hi there with little typewriters. It's like the, oh, that's so cool. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yep. So, little sheets of paper. And then she has this little piece of advertising. Oh, I think Bianca would probably want this. What do you think? It's a, it's a page from a magazine advertising the phone. Isn't this cute? Isn't this cool? <laughs> I love it. How's that cute? Thank you. It's not. Well, that's what I mean. Well, wait a minute. It's not really cute. It's cool. Western Electric Manufacturing and Supply Unit of the Bell System. So they are advertising this phone. That's pretty awesome. Thank you so much, Katie. I really appreciate it. That's so cool. You guys are awesome for thinking about me and the kiddos and I love it. You guys are great. All right, so I went twice to my antique booth. Well, not my antique booth anymore. It's my antique booth place or you know what I mean. Huh? Oh yeah. Okay, he's gonna get some cereal. But it's popsicles first. So, I went there twice, like I said. So this video will probably be two parts. Or it'll be like 50,000 hours long. So, um, one of the first things I got when I went there, and I actually have this listed on my eBay already, is this beautiful, I think, Fenton Lovebirds. They're signed J. Ward, 1987, and they're on a little, like a red heart there. And these, um, these sell, well, it depends because there's single birds, there's different colored birds, there's these two birds on a heart, there's the two birds that are like in a different pose on a heart. So it depends, but they sell um, about 30 to $45. And these, I took the sticker off because I, you know, took pictures of them, but I did pay like $8 for this at the um, flea market. So, got that there. 
and oh and then one of the boots was 25 percent off i'm thinking or not thinking trying to remember um and this was one of the things that was there it's just a simple little a little deer figurine it was two dollars but 25 percent off and it says japan on the back of them so really pretty pretty cute cool deer figurine <laughs> All right, well, see. Oh, yes, I got this little cat, and I'm always attracted to these little cats, all, especially because my son loves cats so much. But this is Acapulco, a little, yeah, um, piece of pottery, piece of, um, like, folk art, like, tourist art, um, not tourist art. What am I looking for? It's a souvenir. <laughs> That's what I was looking for. It's a little souvenir cat. And I got it for $2. It wasn't on sale or anything. But it's got cute little, cool, amazing, adorable little scenes painted on it. I need a thesaurus in my life. So $2 for that. And then from the booth that I always talk to you guys about that has books and postcards and she never refreshes her book or her book her booth and she's got like crates shoved under her tables that are still filled with all kinds of stuff that are not priced and you can't buy anything without a price tag so anyways these were um kind of just stacked underneath other things and I was like "Ooh, what are those so these are books that were uh, like copies of artwork of these tattoo artists that were spiral bound. So this one is Jay Cooper. I got them for $2 a piece. This in particular book was copied in color. Let's see, copied in color. How did I get a, hmm, all of a sudden I have a grid on my screen. So all kinds of cool old school artwork and some of these guys were artists like back in the 80s um early 2000s is from when their artwork is from so i don't know i just thought it was super interesting this book though someone did i guess like a few of the pieces and like cut the pages of this book yeah see they cut the page out this guy has some wicked drawings. That's Jay Cooper. And then we have tattoo designs from Zace or Zess Studio. We have this bound book. Now, if you can find actual, like their drawings, their tattoo artwork, those sell for Buku books. But there's all kinds of um, drawings in here. Like, okay, some of them are like naked ladies and I don't know if I can show that. Oh yeah, I can't do that. They literally have like booties out. Okay, I can do this one, but let me cover these two. <laughs> so they have like cool, like pinup-esque girls, like all throughout the book. We got some like marine stuff there. Just really cool copies of their artwork. Like, hold on, I gotta cover these two ladies so really cool we got that one and then we have Mike Malone's new 50 page sketchbook and then it says Rolo 2006 or 06 it's another two dollar book but oh wait I don't know if that one has naked ladies hold on I was gonna like do a flip through but there's different kinds of There's a lot of um, iconography. Harley Davidson. We got the Grim Reaper. So there's that one. And then, then there's another one that describes, you can tell how humid it is because as I sit here, my hair gets fuzzier and fuzzier. Um, let's see. The following is the 30 sheets of, of flash from the Zeiss or Zeiss, I don't know, studio. Um, including Ralph 
John Stone, Cindy Ray, Dan Danny Robinson's Pinky Yum. I don't know. So, like, it's a collection. And it says established, tattoo archive established 1980. So, again, like, more tattoo art. So, look at that. Maybe Bianca can draw tattoos. It's cool, maybe. So I just thought they were kind of fun. And then we have another one, Percy Waters. So they were all two bucks a piece. And this one, okay. I was like, wait a minute, it's got naked ladies. So we have like this side and this side's double-sided. Really cool looking. Okay, so that's that. Then this is from a booth that was 25% off and I was so excited that I found this because I want to always find the little luster wear animals that I never find. Oh, my hair. But it looks like she had this at $3 and she marked it down to $1.50 and then her booth went 25% um, off. So it's the little luster wear bird. And I believe it's Occupy Japan. Yes. Made in Occupied Japan. So cool. I love that. Ooh, bird. I'm always attracted to birds. Alright, next thing I got, but this is already claimed, is this dandelion paperweight. I got it for $3 and it's by... Terex Infinity Products, handcrafted in Canada. And it's glass. It's inside glass. So that's pretty awesome. Got that. And then the last couple of things, and I'll do a different video for the other stuff because this is getting long, is actually I have, I have five more things. The next thing I got was in the same booth as this kitty cot is this one. And this is Mexican pottery, I know, but I was seeing if it was marked with the city, which Tanala is a city usually in the, is this broken? It looks like there's a tiny little crack on his bum, but I thought it was really cute little geek cat. I have some of my birds, my Tanala birds that never sold. I have put them over with my planter stuff. But I thought that was cool. I got them for $2.75. To find something under like $3 at that place is amazing. Last couple of things I had to share with you guys and I was so excited. I shared these with you guys in my, um, my live sale last week were these like cement lion heads. And my plan was to hang it on my wall. I was gonna replace something that I have. And they have these like really rusty things back here and the other one has already come out. So I don't know if I'll be able to actually hang the guy because these, I weighed them and they're six pounds a piece. They're really heavy, but I just love them. So I got, there's that and this, this one is ugh, the exact same. And see his little, hook came out but they were $6.99 a piece and I thought oh my gosh those are so cool I got those and then these are also from the 25% off booth these are occupied Japan as well and they're just these little mini they're exactly the same but there are these little mini um, hand-painted vases so $1.75 each thought they were in good shape so really cute so that is what I got you guys this is my one of my trips one of my two that I haven't shared with you so I don't think I told you to in my goodwill video leave your favorite item in that video so if you guys want to go check that out I'll make sure I post something about it some link we'll see if I can remember um, but make sure you tell me in this video, what was your, what was your favorite item that I picked? 
and what might you have left? And I'm gonna take a guess. I'm going to guess that you would have probably left these cats. Probably so. Left the little Tanala cats. So anyways, guys, thank you so, so much for watching and to all my new subscribers, all my new Instagram followers. That's exciting. And I'll talk to you guys again soon. Bye. Thank mm -hmm. you.